so good morning to all of you uh, welcome to first lecture of uh, introduction to mathematical foundation of robotics today i will discuss about three link manipulator inverse kinematic for this first we will understand the two link manipulator solution and then we'll go for three link manipulator solution okay so uh, manipulator is like human hand you just can consider so let us see how you can represent the manipulator okay so any either you consider human leg okay this is like your hip then you have knee then you have ankle okay there is three links l1 l2 l3 that's why this is leg is considered three link manipulator three link menu similarly uh, you can consider also human hand as a thrilling manipulator like this you can consider this is your soul soldier elbow wrist and this way this is your end effector or hand by which you are and what is the motivation why well so entire human body is considered as a kinetic chain or manipulator you see that when we are doing push up or any other exercise when you are doing that time you are finding somehow it is like three link manipulator one two three so to propose the solution of three link first let us solve the two link manipulator and then we'll go for three link even though when we are sitting in the cycle this is like three link manipulator okay so first uh, what is inverse kinematic and manipulator like a industrial robot which has one end fix like your hand is attached with the soldier and you are moving in some other position so uh, there is two space one is cartesian space another is joint space cartesian space is you have given x and y in joint space theta 1 theta 2 okay so suppose this is your hand okay this is your theta 1 this is your theta 2 the position x and y is here you have to move this new x1 and y1 so what we have to do you have to adjust this theta 1 theta 2 okay you will adjust and you will able to first i need to see whether it is reachable or not that uh, i will see that and this is l1 and l2 the length is l1 and l2 should be less than x1 square plus y1 square Oops, sorry created okay then only you are reachable otherwise i will not able to reach to that particular point okay so when you have given directly x and y l1 l2 and theta 1 theta 2 are no this is your inverse kinematic i k and if theta 1 theta is non you will reach at unipotion this is your power kinematic so i will discuss about inverse kinematic solution today and for this i am going to drive the solution there is different techniques by which you can get so analytical solution like geometric solution and algebraic solution okay these are closed form solution so today i am going to discuss about closed form solution closed form solution of two link manipulator okay so this is algebraic solution and when link is very simple not too much complex then it is uh, very easy to calculate because we don't have to calculate much number of variables so now let us calculate first design the tooling manipulator this is your x coordinate this is your y coordinate and two structure is there so that is first joint that you can consider this length is l1 and that is your l2 tooling okay l2 and this distance l2 generally i am considering two rr or like rr manipulator that means they have revolute join rotation and rotation two rotation one is here okay that is your theta one uh, another is here that is your theta two okay then what is this angle easily you can calculate both are same angle this is theta one okay then i know that this position is x e and y which i have to calculate 
Okay, so there is forward solution and inverse kind. I'm interested for inverse kind because this is uh, multiple solution you are getting in the non-linearity in the equation. You are getting multiple solution. You can reach at same point by the two different configuration like this or this. Okay, that's why multiple solutions are coming. So it has beauty that if there is any obstacle, I can reach by another way. But if multiple solution is there, so non-linearity is there, which is making confusion which solution we have to take. So there is no unique solution. So let us write the equation. So I know that what is xc. This is your xc. And this point is your y. This point is y. Let us use another color also so that we can find is the calculation. I'm using one more. Thing is here. This is you consider D. Okay. Already I calculated this one. So now let us see what is X. X is the position which I need to find. Okay. So in inverse kinematic, X and Y are unknown. Uh, non theta one theta two are unknown. In forward kinematic, theta one theta two are known. X in Y unknown. First, let us write the equation of forward kinematic. So what is X? So x is this distance this one l1 cos theta one and this is l2 cos theta one. so this is you can write l1 cos theta one plus l2 cos theta one plus theta two must remember the two link manipulator solution and y is easily you can calculate y is y component so this is this plus this is so l1 sine theta one plus L2 sine theta one plus theta two. This is my equation one and two. Okay, so you can write in matrix form also easily. This is your X in Y. Okay, we have to calculate X in, we have to calculate theta one theta two for given X E Y. And this is theta one plus theta two sine theta one sine theta one plus theta two okay and multiply by l1 and l2 which you can do so in forward kinematics i have to calculate x and y and by these equation by placing the value of theta one theta two you can get okay but in inverse kinematic you are getting non-linearity and multiple solution so today we are just exploring algebraic solution okay so these are equation one and two can i take the square root of one plus two square yes i can do what you will get? You will get x e square plus y square. There is l1 square and there is a plus b square. You can know a square plus b square then 2ab. Same formula. So l1 cos square theta 1. And there is l1 component in y square. So I'm, l1 square is common sine square theta one okay so a square is both a square are merged then now a2 square that is l2 square both is l2 l2 and the quantity is cos square theta one plus theta two plus sine square theta one plus theta two okay plus two l1 l2 both i'm making common and the inside you'll get cos theta one cos theta one plus theta two plus sine theta one sine theta one plus theta two here you have to understand two things sine square theta plus cos square theta is one another thing cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b algebraic solution so two equation we have to use sine b this is equation number Third, this is equation number four. This is equation number five. Okay. This is a sign B. Okay. So now with the help of fourth and fifth, I will apply in the third. Then it will become the third equation. You can rewrite it is like x square plus y square. You can see that L1 cos square theta plus sine square theta from four is one. 
similarly cos square theta 1 to theta 2 plus sin square theta can becoming 1 so it will become l1 square plus l2 square okay plus 2l1 l2 2l1 l2 and then you have formula of cos a cos b sin a sin b2 which you can write cos a minus b so you can write like cos you can see theta one minus theta one minus theta two. Okay, so it is going here. from here. You can get cos theta two, cos theta two. Okay, so even uh, you can calculate this angle like this is suppose this is alpha. Okay, this is alpha. So if you do like alpha equal to one eighty minus theta 2. So if I will write cos alpha, it will become cos 180 minus theta 2. Okay. And it will become like minus cos theta 2. The term is coming minus cos theta 2, which can you can represent in term of alpha also alpha you at one. So from here you can get cos theta 2 what minus cos theta 2 is coming. Okay. Cos theta 2 is going here. So what you can do minus cos theta term you can take here this side it is coming minus cos theta two we are getting l1 square plus l2 square minus x square minus y square upon 2l1 l2 that is your cos theta two okay so what is theta two arc inverse okay arc inverse you can write this you can write l1 square plus l2 square minus x square minus y square upon 2 l1 l2 from here you got uh, cos theta 2 but cos theta 2 is generally we are not representing the robotics so what you can do you can try calculate the sine theta also sine theta equal to plus minus root 1 minus cos square theta 2 cos square theta also known so from here if i can get sine theta 2 then theta 2 we will become like the arc okay in term of r cos this is r cos okay so we write a tend to form a tend to sine theta to cos theta two so this function you can explore what is a tend to function so theta theta two already i calculated from here okay so once theta two is known this angle is already known now I need to calculate theta 1. Very easy. Let us consider one angle. This is your beta. Okay. So let us see what is tan beta. If you see this formula, what is tan beta? So this is this upon this. That means y upon xc. Y is upon xc. So it will show that beta equal to arc 10 that means 10 inverse y upon x c okay now i know that what is this quantity this is your beta minus theta and i need to calculate theta one theta two already i calculated so what i will calculate i will do 10 in 10 beta minus theta one what it will give 10 beta minus theta 1. That means I am calculating this 10 theta. So now it is becoming like this. Okay. Sorry. I am creating again for your reference. This is my T. This is my L1. This is my L2. Okay. I need to calculate this one. This is my beta minus theta 1. So if you extend this one like this, you will get this one. Okay. 
this upon this. So what is tan beta minus theta is that this distance. This is what L1 plus L2 and this is theta 2. You can see it here, here. This is perpendicular to here. So what is this quantity? This is your L2 and theta 2. This will become L2 cos theta 2 and this will become L1 sin theta 1. Okay. So if I last 10 beta minus theta 1, this is L1 sin theta upon L1 plus L2. So if this quantity is L2 sin theta 2, this quantity is L1, sorry, L2 sin theta, cos theta 2, sorry, cos theta 2. This is your L1. So from here, you can write what? L2 sin theta 2 upon L1 plus L2 cos theta 2. Cos theta 2 already we have calculated from here. Beta is already known. Now easily you can do for what beta minus theta 1 is there. You can write beta minus theta 1 is arc 10. What is L2 sin theta 2 upon L1 sin theta L2 cos theta 2. Okay. From here you can get theta 1 equal to beta minus this quantity. And beta already we have calculated. Beta is what? Arc 10 y upon b. You can write 10 inverse y upon x e minus 10 inverse L2 sine theta 2 upon L1 plus L2 cos theta 2. From here you can get easily theta 1. Okay, so we have already got now value of theta 1, theta 2. This is my theta 1. This is my theta 2. This is my theta 1. This was L2. This is L1. And this is your Xc and Y. Any other position of Xc dash and Y dash, you can easily calculate using inverse kinematic. You just need to move this one. First, we have to check whether it is a reachable region or not. That means Xc square, then Y square dash. Then this means this distance should be in reachable range less than L1 plus L2. The length of L1 and L2. Then only you can propose the solution. So we have calculated theta 1 and theta 2 both. Theta 2. Okay. So that is the solution for two link manipulator. Today I will stop here. Okay. And the things that uh, I will provide the MATLAB solution as well as Python solution. We will generate the TGT. And next lecture we will start with the three link manipulator. Okay. Thank you. We will stop here. Okay. Next solution will start from